Hey guys, it's officially day one of Miami and I'm super excited because I just landed safely. It's only 10 a.m. and I've had time to have breakfast and right now I'm outside of my hotel or hostel. I'm right outside of my hostel which is called Generator Miami. This is an amazing, gorgeous place and it's super affordable so I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of exactly what it looks like. my bag and the front desk was able to give me this trolley map which shows a map of all the free trolleys that take you around Miami Beach so I'm gonna go towards the water and just start wandering around and I'll show you guys what I see but for right now it's gonna be a really chill easy play by ear type day <laughs> so here we go beach time right now the weather is pretty warm it's like well into the 60s um, but I don't think it's quite warm enough to go swimming yet, but I have my bikini either way, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Real coconut. <laughs> So right now I'm on the beach, which was literally like a two minute walk from the hostel, which is incredible. And I'm seeing all these like really awesome pieces of coral reef and sponge that are washing up, washing up to the shore. But it is gorgeous! It is so gorgeous! Just got back from a quick dip and the water is amazing. It is so cold and I expect it to be warm. Um, but right now I'm just on these rocks and I'm just kind of perching and just hanging out. <laughs> So right now it's around 2 p.m. and I just got back to the hostel. I was able to check into my room, which is a six person female only dormitory. So in this room we have three doubles and I'll show you footage of what that looks like. But as you can see right now, I'm in my bunk, which is a top bunk. First impressions of the dormitory, I'm super impressed with how high tech and how clean and chic the design is. When you access your dorm, all of the doors have keys to them and you just tap and it lets you in. That makes me feel really safe because it means that strangers can't just come in and out of where I'm staying which is different from other hostels that I've experienced where the doors literally don't even have locks but as soon as you come in you can see all three bunk beds and it houses six people all female and we also have a shower as well as a separate toilet and sink that way no one has to fight over anything one of the highlights is that we actually got really lucky and we have a room that overlooks the pool which is absolutely gorgeous now something that I didn't get to say earlier is that Generator Miami is actually both a hotel as well as a hostel so they do offer both options which is really great because for families that might want a little bit more privacy and space to themselves they are able to get their own room and have a more hotel style experience but if you're staying in the dorms and if you're doing it more hostel style you still get that hotel feel and you still get a lot of hotel amenities including the pool and um, the restaurant that's in the building as well. I'm so happy so far with the quality of the rooms and the quality of experience that I'm getting even though this is technically a hotel hostel. So now that I've told you guys all about that, um, I actually just got done showering. I am planning to just take a little bit of a cat nap for right now. None of my other roommates are here so I'm just gonna like hide in my top bunk. Um, I'm hoping that later this evening I'll be able to bike down to South Beach which is supposed to be incredible. That's like the main scene where they have a lot of amazing restaurants and also some really amazing live music and things like that so I'll let you guys know when I get there it's later in the evening and I just woke up from my nap quickly threw on some makeup and headed out because I am walking to dinner right now you can see behind me that the beaches have kind of cleared out and all the hotels are taking back all the beach chairs that they lay out for their guests but um, I'm walking to this restaurant called Takiza which is a tacos place in South Beach and the walk is about 33 minutes but I don't really mind I'm just kind of like walking along the sand which I really like um, so yeah that's the plan right now I'm gonna head to dinner and try to enjoy some of South Beach <laughs> Very 
All right, guys, so we have chicken over here, and then we have a braised brisket. And lastly, I, I'm feeling a little adventurous, so this one is a cow tongue taco. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the chicken. It's the most tame out of all of these. That is so good. So this is chicken with cilantro salsa verde, and the chicken is so tender. It's amazing. I'm gonna try the brisket. I'm trying to figure out exactly what's in there. The brisket one was a, a little bit on the saltier side for me, but very, very tender, super juicy. It's really good. And I am the most nervous about. This is the braised cow tongue, which I've never tried before. It's also made with Victoria beer in it. That's what it looks like. It's just kind of like diced and marinated, so. I kind of picture that like cow tongue would be almost like a very chewy texture, but the waiter said specifically that it's actually really tender, so. Cheers to the cow tongue. Oh, it's actually really good. It's like not chewy at all. It's very tender. It does taste a little different than regular beef. It almost has like a, a carb-like texture to it, like a little bit more cartilage but it's really good. All right, guys, that's all I have for today, but thank you so much for watching the latest video on my YouTube channel, Catch Up With Cassie. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to subscribe down below and to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that you guys are watching my content and I love making it for you guys. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video.